Alright guys, today we are here at the Tartan Tarmac meet and this thing is right behind us, the brand new McLaren 720S. I'm going to take a little bit of a tour of it right now, I've already got some good pan shots of it and everything like that. The pictures do not do it justice, seriously, it's a very, very sexy looking car in person, as you can see it right there. It's kind of like a blue silver paint job we've got on it. My god, it's so nice. So let's go for a quick walk around then. As I mentioned, the colour is absolutely drop dead gorgeous on this thing. Kind of like a whitish, bluish silver, but heavily reminds me of the T20 from GTA, this car. And I think, honestly, McLaren kind of actually inspired the 720S from that because you can definitely see some details in it right there. For example, the back bit right there with the engine cover. Basically the whole back end as well, like the active spoilers and everything it's incredible incredible looking so around the side as well we have got some insane aerodynamics right here as you can see like the blades and everything channeling air all the way through there up along the rear end of the car so nice and a nice set of rims on this as well kind of blacked out silver outlines pretty nice indeed carbon fiber mirrors also there we go, the official 720S badge right there. Looking good, looking very good. So I'm kind of speechless at the moment because it's the first time I've actually seen one of these things in real life. Absolutely freaking gorgeous, as you can see right there. Very nice, so I'll probably keep on circulating this car for quite a while now, but we're going to go ahead down each aisle and see what we can see, because I can already see quite a few cars that I love. Well the exposure today is pretty damn high, so I've had to turn it down a little bit, so apologies if it is a little bit darker than normal guys. But this is one of the main cars here which kind of stands out the most, it is a very very old hot rod style car man, I don't know if it's a Ford Popular or a, like a Ford Pop or anything like that, but it looks very very good indeed, blacked out, kind of Black Betty style man, if you've seen the video by Spiderbait then you definitely know what I'm talking about. Look at them rims man, look at them. So nice, so friggin' nice. It's nice to see like cars like this here in Scotland and actually don't get many. Now obviously since I'm in a bar fan, I decided to actually show these off right here because as I said, I really really like them. Uh, so we've got one here in silver with kind of like a fabric top, so that is obviously the convertible. And this one with a, dare I say, quite questionable hood right now. I'm not a big fan of that, but yeah, for the people that like underground too, then you might like that. It's a black to a bar badge. That's quite nice actually, I'll, I'll give them credit for that one, that is nice. So for the BMW squad out there, we've actually got quite a few good cars here in the first row. We've got an E60 M5, E92 M3, E46 M3, there's another one here as well, right down the way in silver. Looks very good, but for me the choice of, it'd have to be between these two right here, the E92 or the E60. To go around, the E46 is a nice car, right, but that's personal preference, isn't it? So. There we go, a bike for all you guys that like two wheels and what's well, this? It's weird, it's like an M135i, M135i, that's what I'm trying to say, with a optional rear spoiler right there. And then we get into my sort of territory right here, <laughs> kind of like the Audi RS3, kind of like a blooming matte grey paint job, which looks good. BMW M4. And then it is time for me to have a crisis because, as you all know, my favourite car is the Jaguar F Type, and yeah, it's an R and all. Silver, oh my god, we're definitely taking a tour of this one right now. Look at that. There you go. Jaguar badge, R, looks very nice. Scoops in the bonnet. Probably the best wheel option right here. I mean, you do you do get several options for a Jaguar, like from the factory, but this one's probably the best. 
one of the best rear ends of the car there. So, look, since it is the V8, you get the quad exhausts. Obviously, the V6 does have the dual tips, and it is the all wheel drive as well. Look at that. So for the fast Ford fans, we have got an old Sierra RS Cosworth right here with a ginormous friggin' exhaust pipe. I don't know if you could do the car throttle fist test on that, but it just looks big enough to do it. I'm not going to do it because it looks quite dirty. Then we get some nice M4 coupes right there with some carbon fibre exhaust tips. Look at that. Apra, I think it's Akraprovic, I think that's what it's called. Looking good though, looking good. Which one would you take guys, blue or the black one, or kind of like black is silver? Okay, so fanboys get ready, we have got an R35 GTR right here. Completely stopped, nothing done to it, but as you all know, this car is very, very good indeed. Obviously I'm not a massive fan of the R35, I do prefer like the R32 and the R34, but can only wait and see what the new R36 is going to be like. But moving on, and we've got a set of old minis right here. Kind of nice to see them been out in the wild. Don't see many these days. This car was here the last time we were here. It is the Jaguar XKR. <laughs> Whoa, very nice. So I'm a happy boy today. We've got an F Type and we've got an XKR. Very nice in this blue. I mean, I do like the facelifted version of the XKR, but there's just something about this which I kind of actually prefer. It just, it just kind of goes with it way, way better. So we're going to take a trip around the back of this just to see the exhaust pipe. Very nice little, sort of ducktail spoiler. Don't know if that's an option or not, but I haven't really seen it on the standard car. Exhaust pipes, look at them. Should be a very, very loud car when it's turned on, but sadly it isn't today, which is a bit of a bummer. Yeah, so I know there's a lot of Volvo fans in my channel, especially my friend Charlie, so shout out to you, mate. We've got, uh, I think these are S60s, don't get me wrong, I'm not really clued up on Volvos that well, man, but yeah, it's not too bad what they've done. Red mirrors. I kind of like, I don't know which one I prefer, guys. Which would you pick? I'd probably take that one, but kind of lose the red mirrors and that. It's got red rims as well right here. So I think these, I think these two things were revving away when me and Andy were actually walking into the meet. Very good. Pretty good little Volvos, man. Nice turbo round there, but we'll get to that in a second. We've got a Fiesta ST, kind of like one of the most popular sort of hot hatchbacks here in Scotland because pretty cheap now these days, these used ones. Pretty good, and a, a box standard focus, I don't know why that's there. Now, this is quite special right here, it's a Porsche Boxster Spider. Really wish the roof down was in this thing because it's a very, very nice looking thing. And yeah, why is this not in Forza? Seriously, I know it was in Forza 4, but Please bring it back. And then we move on to the more exotic materials right here. The Ferrari F430. I've actually been in one of these things before. So we've got a little bit of vintage section right here. We've got a little Austin 7 which is bloody tiny. Seriously, I don't know how anyone could fit in that thing. It's crazy. If I sat in that, my freaking head would be right over the freaking windscreen. Look at that though. Awesome, and then I think this is a coupe version, or like a hard top version of it right here. Yeah, it is actually. Look at that. Kind of prefer that one though. It's a lot smaller. Really cool. And then something that I never expected to see it is an AC Cobra. Now, pretty sure this is not a Shelby because if it was a Shelby, it would be freaking guarded by tens of thousands of people. As we all know, like, people can make these as kit cars, it's pretty decent, pretty decent looking. See the interior, because in all the games I have played with this car, the interior is absolutely spectacular. Yeah, there you go, AC, look at that. Full on racing harness as well, and you've got the classic stripes right down the back. To the rear end right there. Great car. It's quite an interesting car here that we are seeing. Uh, it is, an, I believe, an LS swapped Nissan Silvia S15. Look at the size of that freaking air filter, man. It's crazy, but he left this thing up earlier on. It sounds like the God of fucking Thunder, man. Really, really evil sounding S S15. 
the slates in the hood as well. Now that is one hell of an Italian lineup right there. Lancia Monte Carlo, these things are very, very rare these days. Probably because they all rust and everything like that, but it's looking very nice in this sky blue. I've seen this briefly the last time I was here, but ended up driving away. And then we've got a woman, Fulvia. I'm trying not to get run down here, but that's Audi TT, but yeah. Really like this. I did not expect to see this today, man. Very, very cool looking car. Kind of makes me want to drive it in Horizon 3. And then I'm pretty certain this is a 355 Ferrari. I might be completely wrong, but that's what it does look like to me. I've been corrected by my good friend Sean right here, that's fellow right. subscriber. He's come down. So it's actually a 348, isn't it? Yeah, it's a 348. 348 rather than a 355. Back, but I didn't see, I didn't see what it was. Aye, aye. It's not a bad looking car though, isn't it? Not yeah, I do, I do like them. I do sometimes kind of get them mixed up with uh, the other the other ones. Is it uh, three five five? Uh, three five five. Some, uh. Sometimes from a distance, I'm like, um, not sure. Hmm. But I know, I know. Aye. I'm close to that. It's not that. Which which out of the three here, which would you take? Like the the Ferrari, the yeah. Lancia, or the other Lancia? Well, to be honest, uh, the Ferrari probably. But hmm. as like a collector's car the Monte Carlo at the end. Yeah, because they, they basically rusted out, as I was saying. Yeah, like, I wouldn't try that about because it's just going to fall to pieces. Mm, definitely. I don't know, maybe that will fall to pieces as well. I'm not sure. It's a bit <laughs> I don't know. Well, you never know. You never know these days. No, no. I think I actually seen this thing driving up when we were walking down to the meet. It is a Toyota Chaser. Very clean. I like what he's done here. He's not went completely mental in terms of looks. Rims are nice. Front end, front body kit and everything. Uh, there seems to be quite a lot of good pairings, like two cars and everything, like this right here, Maserati Gran Turismo and a Mercedes C63 AMG Saloon, which is awesome. Big V8 in the Maserati and obviously a V8 in the AMG. Now these two look pretty damn badass right here. It is some Urban Defenders. Get the light bars and everything on the top. Wow, freaking wee the winches and stuff. Big fan of the Defender. This is actually relatively clean right here, a little MX-5. Kind of like the, the roof as well, kind of silver. It's a hard top as well. As long as you don't put it on the vinyl. Looking good, it's got classic rims. Looks like a car straight out of Need for Speed 2015, man. Engines open as well. Not oh, bad, this is one of the cleanest Miatas I've actually seen. Oh shit, I'm turning into an American fuck. This is very classy right here, DB9 Volante, but at the same time it kind of looks like the Virage, because that's essentially what it is. There seems to be quite a lot of F10 M5s the other day, but I'm trying not to spaz out right now, because one of my favourite sedans is right here, the XFRS, so yet again, Jag fanboy, so yep, I'm going to come for a closer look on this thing. Blacked out. I do prefer this thing in the blue or like white but in black, oh my god. But you cannot record a freaking XFRS without going around the back. Look at that wing. It's crazy that they can sell these things with that man. I know it's not the biggest wing in the world but for something, I, I don't want to say sedate because it's definitely not a sedate looking car but for something that's meant to be like a four doors family saloon and everything, Pretty crazy. We've got a Porsche line up right here. Classic, what well, looks like a turbo convertible. Yes, it is. I can see the wing on the back. And we've got another turbo right here. That still needs to come into force, I think. This one, it might be in the game. I might be completely wrong, but I can't recall seeing it. And we've got a Cayman GT4. Oh, yes, and it suddenly get very bright. Okay, didn't expect that. And a 944 Turbo Man, yes, this is coming into Forza next week, next Friday, so expect a video on that very, very soon. I don't actually mind that sticker on the fender, it doesn't look too bad. Apparently it's for sale, so... Ooh, I like it. And then, we've got the Ferrari squad right here. 360 mod in a convertible. Look at that, the window's open so we can actually take a peek inside. Look at that. Gated shifter, proper classic style right here, man. Looking very good, and we obviously get the Ferrari V8 right there.
So sticking with the Lotus theme, we've got an Exige S with a very good looking red outline running right around the car. Look at that, along the side skirts, red brake calipers as well, and inside the wing, look at that man. That's a nice touch. Might need to give this a go on Horizon 3 because it does look very nice. Now this is a very very cool thing to see. Audi RS6, big V10 engine in this thing. <sighs> Love this car man. It's quite a, quite a unicorn now, it's kind of rare these days that you see them out on the road so nice to see us here. The rarity keeps on continuing right here, we've got a Z3, I think it's an M Coupe, yeah it is an M Coupe. Really really nice car this man. The yellow actually suits it as well. And there's that carry from last time. But anywho, I'm just going to concentrate on this thing. I know a lot of you guys in the comments section have actually mentioned this car before, so... Very nice. Clean as well, nothing done to it, which is good. Very good. There you go. Look at that. Very nice car. I think Woody's having a little bit of a sticky situation right here. So what have we just seen, Andy? Nova Drive. We've got a Nova Drive <laughs> right here. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so I think this thing is a definition of a pimp wagon. Look at this thing. The size of it. Wait, let's just take a walk up this and see how long it takes. Yeah. We're still going. We're still going. Still going. And there we are, we're finally at the back now. That is literally a boat on wheels. I think he's tried to Audi R8 this Mustang. Turn 10, if you're watching, please for the love of God bring this car in. I know the original Capri's in, but God bring in the 2.8 laser. And also quite timely, please bring this in as well. It's the new 208 GTI. It's the 30th edition. Uh, 30th edition. You want the um, the 205, the original yeah. one, don't you? Yeah. That'd be quite good if we just had like that one. And the one next to it. <laughs> oh, aye, 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 aye. That'd be quite funny. <laughs> I think Andy's found the power solution for the Tesla Model S. Oh, some, someone's been taken out. There we go. <laughs> someone's taken some bottles. I think the it's energy's going to run out. There we go. It now not runs on electricity, it runs on water. There we go. That means that it's a H2. Hydrogen <laughs> So it's a, it's a hydrogen car now. They've converted it from electricity to hydrogen. So someone's repping the Salamandrian badge right here. Yeah, I think if you want the definition of low, this is definitely the best car to actually I mean, <laughs> describe it at the show. So call me hyped to see TBR come back and call me hyped to see this thing right here. I believe this is a Chimera in my god. Looks very, very good. It's got an engine that is open. I'm pretty sure TVR use straight six engines. Looking cool right here. Obviously, there's a convertible we get to see inside of it. Actually, held up not too bad. Me wanty, me wanty this one right now. Give me that. Okay, so this has to be a very, very big surprise here. R32 Skyline. Very, very clean looking. For all your engine nuts out there as well, here it is. Legendary RB26 motor. Not sponsored in any way whatsoever. <laughs> Corsa count, number two. This is the first RX-8 that I've seen in quite a while. It's obviously the facelifted version. I think it's the R3. Not too bad. And then we've got an Audi R8 V10 Plus right next to this, which has standard Audi wheels, right? But they kind of look like HRE style ones. Very, 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 okay, speak very bespoke wheels. Obviously around the back we'll get the big carbon fibre spoiler right here. Look at that. Now I've actually had the pleasure of actually revving one of these things before at Audi Glasgow, so big shout out to them as well. Look at that V10. 600 horsepower in this. Wow, wow, wow. There you go, we get the Subaru and Porsche squad. And also a BMW, but we'll just neglect that. <laughs> That's a 991.2. It's the, no, the 991.2. That's nice though, the, the Forester STI. Pretty decent. I've seen Car Throttle's video on this recently. Pretty good. So there we go, around to the back of the Porsche, we get the 911 Carrera 4 badge right there. 
Looking good. Now, the 991 point two is actually warming to me. I do prefer the 991 original version because that's a bit more cleaner looking, but I love the style of these lights. Look at that. This flows all the way across the back. And the spoiler's actually up as well. Look at that. Pretty good. And then we've got some sort of air vents for the engine. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks good? Do you prefer the normal 991 or the new facelifted version? Let us know in the comments. Look! It's a muggin! Okay. This is by far the most unlikely duo that I have ever seen. Peugeot 28 GTI right next to an old charger which still looks awesome today. So we've basically arrived at Andy's world. Yes. <laughs> it is the muscle car section and I know a lot of you guys come from America so you will be happy, but you might be a bit sick of seeing cars like this because they're probably all over the place. It's got a GMC Sierra, I think it is. Looks like a Sierra. And is that a Plymouth? Pretty sure that's a Plymouth. Yes, it is. Look at that thing, man. That is badass. We've got an old Corvette right here. I think that's a C4. So I think it's, that's a C4 and pretty sure, it pretty sure. <laughs> my memory just went completely blank there guys and then we got a C6 convertible I like this but personally my favourite Corvette has to be either the C3 or C2 but also the new uh, Z06 is very nice I cannot wait to see the new ZR1 and then next to that we have got Pontiac Firebird no Trans Am, Trans Am actually correction there's so many different versions of this car it's unreal but Look at that, gold rims. Oh, look at the style of that, that's nice. Oh, the window's open so we can see the interior. Look how clean that is, man. Jesus. That has been, that has been held up well. Wow, wow, wow. Now that is more my style. I'm more of a Camaro guy myself. So this Z28 right here, or Z28 here in Scotland, it, it just kind of, it kind of tickles my pickle, let's just say that. It's, that's the thing that I like best. So it would look really good if it did have the stripes on it, but I ain't complaining because the, the top is very, very nice, kind of leathery. But yes, Bumblebee in the flesh right here. But look at that. Cool little design on the bonnet. Looking good. And then Smokey and the Bandit, of course, that has to be here. Oh, and look what's coming. Audi RS4 Avant nearly running over my toe, thank you very much mate well, the Audi squad, the Audi squad is just rolling up today man, look at this crazy that's a nice, nice A5 though now these two have to be two of the best TR now obviously the Ferraris are more notorious for like the red colour and everything but this, I don't think I've ever seen a 355 in this colour looks very nice <laughs> All the slants and the slates in the bonnet. Ferrari right there. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see it, but very nice red interior. It's just something about all these old Ferraris, man, like the gated shifters and everything. We need all it back. We need it all back. Well, Andy's a happy boy today. We've got an AMG GTS in yellow right here. What do you think? Amazing. Amazing. So nice looking. Because we were in, we were inside one of these yeah. things at ignition, weren't yeah. we? What is the interior like? So good, isn't it? So freaking good. I was in one. That, that thing is noisy as hell. <laughs> And here we have the wing, I mean Subaru, uh, it's... Can, can words even describe that? Seriously? That's a bit OTT, but I'll leave that down to you guys in the comments if you like that or not, because personally you know me, I'm not a big fan of massive wings like that. That's not a bad light up that, is it? Mitsubishi. <laughs> Shot myself. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to round it off here guys, I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did filming it. Big shout out to everyone that was featured, like Sean right here, I don't know if you can see him or not, but um, we've got Andy right there as well, and we're going to get knocked down by the Tangerine Mobile that's coming right now. So yeah, uh, last little car I want to show you is, if you can see it right behind me, it's a little TVR Griffith. Very nice little thing right there, so I've had a very very fun time, this is going to take quite a lot of editing, so if you could leave a like that would be greatly appreciated. So we're going to try and come to these every month, 
uh, and give you guys content on it but this has been a great 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 show highlights for me has to be the 720s fucking gorgeous thing and i'm trying to think of other ones as well definitely the jaguars um the been here and yeah i'm surprised we haven't seen any super and stuff like that because we were a couple here last time but yeah love it all so thank you very much for watching guys remember to subscribe to the channel if you are brand new and i'll see you in my next video coming tomorrow as always bye bye